Back here closer to home, an Oregon State trooper is facing allegations of misconduct. He's the target of an investigation and civil lawsuit after claims the Southern Oregon drug cop underreported stops and targeted minorities. Here's Kyle Boshi. From drug bus to saving puppies, Oregon State Police celebrated the work of Trooper Travis Peterson, his accomplishments posted on social media. But now this drug cop from Southern Oregon is attracting attention for another reason, allegations of misconduct. Travis Peterson has been racially profiling on Interstate 5 and throughout the roads of Jackson County for years. Later this week, um, attorney he, Justin he, Rosas he, he plans to file a class action his, lawsuit against Oregon State Police his, and Trooper Peterson on behalf of eight men who believe they were wrongly detained while driving through Southern Oregon. And part of this lawsuit is trying to look out for the for all of the over policing of people who are just trying to, to move along and, and, and people of color predominantly, right, who are just trying to move along. A review of press releases and social media posts suggest over the past few years, Trooper Peterson and his canine have made numerous drug busts along Interstate 5 near Medford seizing cash, cocaine, heroin, and meth. But court records indicate many of those cases were later dismissed because the trooper allegedly conducted unlawful searches. And there were other problems. A memo from the Jackson County District Attorney shows Peterson failed to document hundreds of traffic stops. He didn't record some canine deployment, which impacts a dog's accuracy rating, and some evidence went missing. He did hide his stops evidence. He did hide his canine stops. They do continue to employ him. The attorney claims Trooper Peterson frequently stopped vehicles with out-of-state plates, where drivers looked like they were not from the area. In a tort claim notice, the lawyer said blatantly he targeted minorities. Peterson could not be reached for comment. He's currently on protected leave for unrelated reasons. In a statement, state police said OSP takes allegations of racial discrimination and evidence mishandling seriously and has zero tolerance for such behavior by its members. OSP investigates all allegations of misconduct and takes appropriate steps to address any behavior falling outside its policies, rules, procedures, or law. The lawsuit comes at a time when vehicle searchers have come under greater scrutiny. The Oregon Supreme Court made it harder for police to search vehicles without a warrant, and the state legislature just passed a bill that would prevent officers from pulling drivers over for a minor infraction and require officers to inform drivers they have the right to refuse a search during a traffic stop. Kyle Aboshi, KGW News.